now that the kids are out of school, now it's on you, right? So they may be already getting on your nerves and you're getting on their nerves. <laughs> so it can be a big struggle, of course, so with all of these challenges. Um, like this scene from Cheaper by the Dozen. Not one other kid in this neighborhood has chores. Well, we're not like any other family in the neighborhood. Right, so why do we live here? Dishwasher now! All right, complete mess. I just watched this movie the other day with my kids. Dr. R.G. Allen Wilson is here now with some great tips. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> so for a segment like this, we had to bring in the Mighty Good Day players. So we're going to do scenarios, and you're going to help uh, the parents figure out how they should be handling it. So let's start with the first one. And the first one is bedtime. Now, little Subi, I told you it's time to go to bed. I want to go to bed. Go to bed. I want one more story. What did I tell you? Every five minutes you're up, one of your dolls will disappear. I want to drink disappear. water. Nope, it's I don't going. Go you to know bed. what happened to Barbie? Go go go! So now everybody's <laughs> screaming. How do we like lower the temperature? So we need to impact, infect the calm technique, right? Connect, affect, listen, and mirror, right? And when you think about the whisperer technique, you want to kind of lean down, kneel down a little bit to your child's level. You want to Give them eye contact. You want to change your tone. And remember the three T's. It's temperament. <laughs> she she tone. may not be able to get back up, RJ. <laughs> Thomas is getting low. Wow. <laughs> Let's show you. Listen. Matt. <laughs> environment that you want. Model what you want for your children. Remember, they're paying attention to mirroring for you. Okay. Right? <laughs> All right, so that's the whisper method. Yes. Um, and then let's get to our second scenario. There's a lot of kids right now. It's a big week where they're all heading off to camp. Suvi, I'm are scared. you excited for summer no, camp? I think they're no, winning. what if they're mean people? You're going to make lots of friends. But don't make me go. You're going to meet Bob. And snakes. You. you might even need a bear. Please, Come Daddy, on, Subi. Go You're, going. You You're going. You're going. <laughs> You're going. I'll pack her up. <laughs> okay, oh so gosh. what do we do if they just if they don't want to go? Listen, you know what? No one likes change. We don't like change. And the reality of it is the children really will follow your lead, right? And so you need they need predictability, they need structure, they need consistency, and they need dependency. And so when you're focusing on all of that, you're going to give them that structure by having them write down things. What are they normally doing? Even if they think that they're not going to meet friends, you're going to recreate a different story and a different narrative for them. And you're going to walk them through that process so that they understand that you're going to be there with them even if you're not there physically. I like that you also suggest bring up other times they've gone to something they were nervous about but exactly. ended up having a good time. Exactly, exactly. And have them create a different narrative for themselves, right? A different story allows them to get their, their calm in, right? Mm -hmm. So when you have any, we're just talking about these new changes, um, you know, they want to have that sense of safety. How about a scenario where maybe it's like a new school? Well, when you think about a new school, right, that's their separation anxiety. I forgot our Good Day players. Wow. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Thomas, Thomas, aren't you excited about going to a new school? I don't want to go to school. Oh, come on. Leave it's going to be great. Nope. You're going to love it. I don't no, want to play games. you got to come this way to go to the new school. I'm going this Thomas. way. I'm going to bed. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Great actors. We're, we're talking about a five-step calming process, right? We want to we breathe. We want to, you know, be paused. First, breathe reflect, identify triggers, and then we want to respond. And so when you're talking about kids that are separating and thinking about a new school, you want them to really be centered. And think about how it is that it was for you. Tell them stories about when you may have felt uncomfortable. And then mimic that. Remember, calm stands for connect, affect, listen, and mirror. Right? So set the temperature for them to move in a different direction. We all have to adjust to new things. We all have to adapt to new things. Mm -hmm. That is creating a different narrative for them and allowing them to move in the direction of being calm. And then learning how to calm themselves and to self-regulate themselves. When they recognize, I'm in a stressful situation, I need to take a minute and breathe. Right, and that's creating a different atmosphere, right? Breath work is really, really good because it changes the parasympathetic nervous system for all of us. So if you breathe and they're going to breathe, then you're changing a system and a narrative for them. And that's good. Okay, so this final one, they're spending a lot more time at home since they're not in school. So toys are everywhere, the house is a mess. <laughs> Let's get them to pick it up. 
Thomas, I told you to clean up these toys. I They're don't everywhere. Clean it up. I, I, look, I'll Play. buy you a new hat if if you if I if you clean up your toys. I'll give mommy the champagne she likes if she cleans up my toys. I asked you nicely <laughs> once. Oh, Maybe you didn't time, hear me, mommy. Tommy. I said to clean up your toys. I'll drink it. There's a lot. Of <laughs> Listen, pick and choose your battles, right? This perfectionistic thing in terms of parents, you know, Karen, it doesn't work. And so clean up toys, that's a big thing, but you know, children need their own space too. So if it's shared space, you do your task together, maybe you establish a reward system, but then you want to have them have some space. And, and ask yourself on a scale of zero to 10, how big is it? And if it's not that big and they can do it tomorrow, you get your rest, you wind down, they wind down, and everybody's happy. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Let's give it up for the Good Day Players. <laughs> Take a bow. Yes, lovely once again. Thomas Ray. Their too. debut was wonderful. Yes, it was. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the calm technique. Calm Thank technique. You. I'm sorry, right? Alan Connect, Wilson. affect, listen, and then mirror. Very nice. Thank you. Mm -hmm.